Alex here with Nick and Lawn and Landscape. Want to talk with you guys a little bit about I have done snow removal and de-icing for three years now. Uh, this will be my fourth year coming up. It's a great addition to your lawn landscape company. If you don't do it, I'm sure you've thought about it. Or if you do do it, you you agree with me it is a great addition but being in the Midwest I live in st. Louis so you don't get a ton of snow so it's hard to justify you know going out and buying all this equipment that you're gonna have to for one fork up the money for or pay payments on whatever way you you want to do it and you're also gonna have to store it and look at it all season and look at something that you're paying for that you paid for that you're not using so it's hard it's hard to justify, like I said, to, to just go all in and, and buy this stuff because you got to have it. I mean, obviously you can you can shovel driveways, and that's the way you start. And if you're watching this video, you're probably doing that right now, or or planning on doing that, and thinking and thinking ahead about a plow. But shoveling driveways is great. That's that's how I started. That's how most people start, and that's the way you should start. Get to the point to where you don't have enough time to shovel all the driveways in a timely manner you know obviously your snow removal you're not going to get it all done in an hour you're not going to get it all done in two hours you're not going to get it all done in three hours but if it snows you know if it's done snowing tuesday at 7 p.m and you know it's an average snow a two inch snow if you're still out shoveling driveways the next night you know when people are getting home from work at 5 and 7 p.m that's not necessarily going to be good. I mean, you want to get them done before that. Really, if it's done snowing at 7 p.m., you need to have most of your stuff done by 7 a.m. when people are getting out and about. So that's kind of the time frame that I go off of. Um, and obviously, if it's done snowing at, you know, 3 p.m., you're not going to have people's driveways clean or everybody's driveways clean when they get home, you know, at 5 p.m. That's not going to happen. But you also have to keep the customer in mind or keep the business owner in mind if you're doing a parking lot. But um, and that's you know if you if you have a plow. But anyway, what I did to get into snow plowing was I already had a truck. Obviously, I was doing lawn care and landscaping, so I had a four-wheel drive truck, and I'd been shoveling driveways. And I was at the point where you know it was too much. I was I was getting wore out shoveling driveways, and I was having the opportunity to plow parking lots were at the facilities that I was mowing or at the businesses that I was mowing so that's where I really wanted you know I said okay you know it's time I got to get a plow but I'm looking at these plows and they're you know five six thousand dollars you know cheaper ones four thousand dollars in that range and I'm like man you know that's tough to tough to spend that that's the price I spend on a mower and I use a mower all summer long you know I'm only going to use this plow if I'm lucky seven or eight times a year you know and that's and that's being generous you know you're probably not going to use it that much but but that's the thought that goes through everybody's head you know right why would i spend all this money when i'm hardly going to use the damn thing so most people say screw it i'm not doing it but that's you, you're you're not looking at you're not looking outside the box okay you don't have to spend four to six thousand dollars on a plow i bought my first snow plow for five hundred dollars that went on my truck and i had to spend another 200 to get it to where it was ready to go or 300 300 to spend to get it to where it was ready to go so i had 800 dollars but i had an operating it was a meyer plow seven and a half foot meyer plow or seven foot meyer plow it went up down left and right it had down pressure had a cutting edge that was usable you know it wasn't the prettiest thing it was ugly it was horribly ugly but it worked and that is the point you don't have to spend all that money and you don't necessarily need a, a rusty plow like I had but my thing was was okay I can get in for $800 which is not a large investment and see what happens if it didn't work so be it I try to sell the plow for you know five to eight hundred dollars and get some or all of my money back and know that I tried but you have you know Without doing that, I never would have known. And now I'm in my third, fourth year, and now I got three plows, you know, and, or two trucks and a bobcat with a plow on it. So you, ne 
never know where it's going to lead you, but you don't have to spend all that money. So if you can do what I did and you can get in for a reasonable price, you're stupid not to. I mean, don't, you know, don't be scared. Even if you're in the Midwest, if you've got a place to store it and you can get in it for that amount of money when you're, when you're already doing lawn care, so you're making, you know, you're making okay money doing lawn care. You can save up 800 over the course of the year and, or whatever, even in a couple months and be ready to try to buy that snowplow. And if you can find it, awesome. You'll be where I was and you'll be started. And if not, keep looking. You never know. You might find it. It might cost you a little more, but it's, you know, you're, you're opening opportunities for your business. You're starting new things for your business. You're growing your business. And that $800, the first year I picked up a lot that paid $400 alone. One lot paid $400 alone. And I, I plowed that lot four times that year, something like that, three times that year. So just that lot, just the opportunity that I opened for my business made me that much money, let alone the other ones that I already had lined up from my lawn care co customers. So point being I spent you know I went out on a limb I spent eight hundred dollars whatever to get into snow plow or to get a plow on the front of my truck it's a risk yes but I got that customer or that account that paid four hundred dollars to plow and without that plow I never would have had that opportunity I never would have been out that day with the plow on the front of my truck when I when I was approached so so by spending that $800 and investing that $800, I was able to build something that three years later I'm doing, you know, I have I have three of them. So it, it obviously worked out, but it, it opens opportunities. You're, you're working year round. You're driving around with that plow on the front of your truck. Now people know, okay, this guy, you know, this guy does the snow removal now. Wow, he's he does everything. He's always working and you're always having you know, people come up to you, new new customer opportunities. It's just, it really is one of those things where if you can do it, you should. I mean, it's not it's not that hard. It doesn't require a special license, nothing like that. It's, it's an addition that any lawn or landscape company can make if they're in a climate where it snows. And like I said, me being in the Midwest and the St. Louis area, we do not get that much snow. So it's hard for me to justify spending that much money when it may not snow at all. And there's been years where it doesn't snow at all. So, you know, it's, it's hard to justify, but $800 to me was worth it. And it worked out very well for me. I am very glad that I did it. And it's, it's been an awesome addition to my business. It's been something that brings in a decent amount of money a couple times a winter, whenever I'm not doing anything else. So, I me, I get tired of sitting in the house anyway. I want to get out and do something. So. So it's, it's been great for me. I would suggest to anybody that's questioning it, yes, do it. Go out and find yourself the most reasonable plow you can that is going to work. It doesn't really matter on brand. I would get a commercial brand, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't stress on getting, you know, a, a 2015, you know, Western Whiteout or something. You know, you don't, you don't need that. Get a 90 style Western Unimount or get a... 90 style Meyer Classic, something that's going to mount on your truck or a you know an early 2000, whatever you may have. But in my case, it was a 90 something truck. But whatever's going to work, just get something reasonable that will push snow. And if you use it, you like it, great. Do what I did, you know, continue to use it and work your way up. And if you don't like it, you're a cheap investment. It's you know, you know you're not in it that much, so sell it and get back as much as you can and move on and forget about it you know and, and take that money and invest in something else but if you're on the fence about it i would i would strongly recommend it, it is a very very good service to add alex from dickens lawn and landscape thanks for watching like and subscribe